All right, so we've created this lovely picture here. And we made some modifications, you know, we grouped it together, duplicated it, changed the coloring here, and then we changed it again over here on this layer, and this looks all very nice. And we're going to go ahead and get our information for the canvas so that we'll know how everything looks and we can tell everybody and oops the DPI here is 150 and you need it to be at 300 how do you get it to a 300 DPI well take note of your pixel width and pixel height 2224 and 1496 and we're gonna go out to the gallery and we're going to click the plus sign and we're going to click the plus sign again and we're going to go to 2224 by 1496 and the DPI is going to be 300 and we're going to say done and create so now we have the new canvas here and because we're nervous, we're going to check. And yes, it says DPI 300, so we're good to go. And we're going to go into the original canvas. And then you're going to open up all of these groups. And by sliding each layer to the right, you're going to select them, just like this. You cannot select by groups if you're moving into a new canvas. You have to select just the layers. You then click on that and you drag it all the way up here to gallery until it goes back to your gallery. And then keep holding on this. Do not let it go. Tap once with your other hand on the new canvas. Tap once on your layers. And then you want to insert either below or above the layer one there. And here's your lovely picture. Hmm. What's wrong? Well, it doesn't keep the layer type in there. So we're going to have to change this back to the layer type that it was on before. And we're going to take this and we're going to group it. And we'll turn that off. And we're going to change this one. And we're going to group. And then we'll turn that off. We'll change this one. And group. And there we go. We've got the original, the first modification, and the second modification. This is now at a higher DPI than it was before, and it automatically stretches to fill your canvas. As long as your canvas is the exact same size as the one you started out with, you end up with the same picture, but in this case, twice as many pixels. And a quick note for you, when you move your layers over, if any of these were text layers, they would automatically be rasterized. So if you want editable text, that means you're going to have to redo the text layers. Okay, an update for you. Um, I found out recently that the DPI can now be changed inside the app. And what you do is you go to Crop and Resize, go to Settings, and click on DPI. Let's change this to 150. And we'll say Done. And Done. And Looks like we didn't lose anything. That's good. Let's go back up again. Crop and resize. DPI 300. 
and done and done and there it is nothing lost let's see what happens if we go up to now well, let's go 500 dpi and we'll tell it to resample the canvas done That seems to be working okay. The picture is automatically snapping into the frame, so everything's all right. Pixelization isn't too bad. This is a photograph. Let's check. But this is okay. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of line going on through here. Where am I at? There we are. Yeah, these right here I don't think were there before. But it doesn't seem to affect the picture too much, so I guess I'm okay with that. Let's go back to color. And there we go. So, you can change the DPI in the canvas itself. Um, I hope this tutorial has helped everyone, and you have a wonderful day.